Hello. I recently read an article by employee engagement expert and public speaker Mark Crowley. I am a big fan of Mark Crowley. His philosophies, his connection of humanity and the social actions of humans to work really fits in well with my ideas of the four fundamental forces of leadership. And he recently posted that he has an article on Fast Company, which is dated November 30th, that talks about remote work and the detrimental impact that it's had on social interactions amongst humans, and that he's suggesting that we go back to in-person, in-office environments. And while I completely agree that there has been significant downsides to the social dynamic and the feelings of connectedness, lack thereof, and increases in loneliness and turnover from all these different things, and he cites a wonderful example of customer service representatives that because they're remote, don't have someone right next to them to be able to go and let off steam after a difficult call. I completely agree with all of that. However, I'd like to be able to go and push back on one of Mark's assumptions. Basically, the conclusion, actually, that going back into work is the way to go. And I recently went and put a video post, a blog, about trying to be able to go and get connections, feel that human connection over Zoom or video, this remote aspect, and what leaders can do to be able to respect their situation in this reality and really actively search for ways to love employees that work for them and serve them to the best of their ability in this remote environment. Now, before I go on, I'm really going to state that I do believe that some in-person is really beneficial, not only for that social interaction, but there are aspects of meeting the mission and vision that in-person conversations and connections can really bring some benefit. One of the aspects that I believe Mark's article misses is that he doesn't really address the reality, the elephant in the room, that remote work is likely here to stay. We can't put the toothpaste back in the bottle completely. Some, probably. I believe that in-person work has great benefits. But the aspect of going completely back, we can't turn back time on that. So it's incumbent upon all of us, leaders and staff employees alike, to go and respect how we handle our relationships with work In a virtual environment, do we actively go and carve out time just to be able to go and call a coworker and have a little chat over video and see eye-to-eye contact and just blow off steam? That we offer up customer service employees, as I mentioned earlier, that opportunity just to be able to hop on with one of their colleagues and just go and say, oh, that was an awful call. I can't believe what happened there and try and promote ways that we can go and evolve in the way that our connections happen. But I also believe that we need to go and look at our social structures outside of work, here in the neighborhood, within our community. How do humans find other ways to be able to go and get that personal interaction and connection as social beings? to be able to go and help fill some of what was lost by moving remote. Quite honestly, I don't technically have the answers to this. Although I do believe that we need to go and take a different view and be honest with ourselves to look at what the reality is and find some different ways that we can go and help fulfill that real human imperative 
of building and promoting those social connections for our own health, individually, as well as the community and society at large. I really suggest that you go and read Mark's article. I've left a link down on the bottom of the video. Take a read. Form your own opinion. Go and comment on it. This discussion is really important. How can you love, respect, serve, and have fun and joy in more impactful ways in the new world that has virtual disconnected relationships? It's something that we really need to go and address and figure out.